thing's tracking it. Well, did that not just blow your mind? Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Um, I'm at a bit of a loss for words when it comes to this amazing piece of footage that was emailed to me day before yesterday, and I only actually got to it today as I was going through footage through the Secure Team email that I am sent by people all over the world each day. And it was captured over Cincinnati, Ohio, but from Covington, Kentucky. So basically, there's a river between Cincinnati, the downtown city, and Covington, where there's all these high-rises. And the guy who was recording this said that there were military helicopters circling this area for a good 20 minutes. And that he had been out there, and you can hear a, a woman in the background at some points, but that he had been out there watching this thing for about 20 minutes before even turning on his video camera. And he had been seeing these military search helicopters circling this area directly almost overhead of Cincinnati at about 3 in the morning. It was actually what woke him up were the sounds of these helicopters, these choppers, military grade choppers, woke him up out of a dead sleep, went out onto his porch overlooking the city and saw, he said, up to six or seven helicopters searching a general area and he said that's when he began recording and this object appeared so just as the recording starts he's actually just recording the helicopters and he hasn't actually seen the ufo appear yet he didn't know what these helicopters were searching for or what they were doing there so he starts recording and as he's tracking the helicopters we see this object materialize out of nowhere and it has sort of a triangular shape to it. And my first thought was like, is this like a hang glider? Is this a balloon that is hanging up from the city? You can see the moonlight reflecting off this thing. I mean, this thing is big. And you can immediately tell once you take a good look at whatever this craft or object or whatever it is. Once you take a close up look at it, this thing, this thing like morphs at one point. It morphs. And it changes its position. I mean, it sits in the same position, but it almost looks like it, like it, I don't know, shape shifts momentarily and changes its position in the sky, but it stays in the same place. And it sits there for a few moments longer, and then you see it, what looks like a, a cloak. It almost looks like it's cloaking itself. You start to see it almost, the only way I can explain it is it looks like it's breaking down or breaking apart. It literally, you see pieces of the thing start to disappear, almost almost like puzzle pieces to it, start to disappear before the thing is just gone. And then we see, and then we see just as it disappears, we see more of these search helicopters flying right towards the area where this thing was. And I think he records at least two or three helicopters at the end of the footage heading over to the exact spot where this thing was. And you can see from the size of this thing, this thing looks 10 times bigger than the helicopters that were searching for it. But once the thing disappears, the helicopters head straight for it. And this is simply amazing. And I know I use that word a lot, but it is. There's no better word to use. This is simply stunning material of something. And we have the military circling this thing at three in the morning waking people up had this been just some object 
like I said, it, it kind of looked like a hang glider. Or the only other thing you could think of is a hot air balloon or possibly a balloon tied to something on one of the buildings below because I really want to be able to rule this out because it's kind of freaky. But I want you to see that it's impossible that this object is any of those things. It's not swamp gas this time, guys. I mean, this is crazy. Sent to me by Charles Leslie from Covington, Kentucky. Captured from one of these high-rise hotels. I know there's a couple hotels over there. I mean, and and the source said that he there were other people, like business people, who were also in this high-rise on the balcony over who had also gotten woken up. Now, they weren't recording it, but they were just sitting there in amazement, wondering what the hell these helicopters were doing and what they were looking for. And thankfully, we have a brief glimpse of this massive object that they were hunting. And we're showing you some slow-mo and up-close clips of this thing because I want you to get the best view possible. And just, wow. I don't really think I need to say anything else. There's a lot of weird things going on lately. And I've been talking about in my videos that I think something's coming. Now, I don't mean as in some sort of existential apocalyptic something. You know, I don't think the end of the world is coming. But I do think something's coming. I, I think something's happening. I think that something has shifted and we're seeing more of these sightings the sightings are becoming more brazen the military activity the search helicopters i've been seeing a lot more sightings lately that have been accompanied by military aircraft as if they're these things are these things are here and the military knows they're here and they're tracking them or at least they're trying to keep them quiet they're trying to keep them from being seen but obviously that's not working so i will let you be the judge of this footage um it's simply amazing Spoke to the source, normal guy, a businessman, um, staying in this high-rise hotel, got woken up at 3 in the morning, heard helicopters, saw all these choppers out here circling, and at one point captured this strange object appear momentarily before what it looked like it was decloaking and cloaking again. So, amazing footage. Now, there's some very other interesting things that have been happening and as I just told you I was on vacation on the beach and um, had a wonderful time and just got home and you know what it's really good to be home and I missed being able to sit here and focus on the channel and read your guys emails and questions and get back to the business that is researching and trying to uncover what's going on behind this phenomenon and I missed it so I'm happy to be back however there's a lot of things that have happened and I will be talking about these in coming videos. And one of those things was there was a set of images that was published, uh, captured over CERN. And if you don't know what CERN is, CERN is the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Um, also the organization that operates uh, the largest particle physics laboratory in the world, which you may know as the Large Hadron Collider. So these images that you're seeing here of these crazy clouds were captured by someone in Switzerland. And these bizarre clouds appeared directly over the Large Hadron Collider. And if you don't know what the Large Hadron Collider is, it is the world's largest, most powerful particle collider. So it's this massive facility in Switzerland where they basically smash particles together, which will eventually create a mini black hole and probably destroy the earth but they're they're smashing particles together they're dealing with some very serious shit and a lot of people have been against this worried that they very well could create a mini black hole or open up some sort of dimensional rip i mean when you're messing with particles and extra dimensions and string theory and dark matter and you're trying to bend and break things in physics that maybe shouldn't be messed with, then you're going to get some weird stuff happening. And these images were taken, uh, oddly enough, just as CERN had unleashed a brand new experiment that had just gone into effect called AWAKE. And this new experiment, called the AWAKE experiment, is basically where they're smashing particles together at an even faster rate using an even smaller collider and I'm talking small to the point where you can fit it on top of a table. 
<laughs> so it's like any person in the world. You just head over to Walmart and you can get yourself a, a, a small Haldron Collider. Set it on top of your table and you'll be smashing particles and creating many black holes in no time. <laughs> and just as they started this new experiment, these crazy clouds appeared directly overhead. And it had people wondering, you know, <laughs> what is happening? Is a portal about to open to another dimension directly over top this thing? Now, this was originally reported by the Freedom Fighter Times YouTube channel. So I will put the link to their video. All credit to him. Um, visit his video to watch the entire thing. And um, he talks about what he thinks uh, is going on here. So very strange. Um, a lot of controversy surrounding CERN and uh, what they're doing over there in Geneva, Switzerland. And there's just, again, there's some things you probably shouldn't be messing with. And, you know, when you begin to see scary, bizarre clouds like this appearing directly over top of this thing, kind of makes you wonder whether, you know, people really do have a reason to be worried about this thing. And that it's not all just hysteria. I mean, they really are messing with some things here that could cause problems. Scientists have even said it. I mean, this thing, in theory, could create a mini black hole that, could, that would grow and grow and grow and eventually swallow the Earth. So let's just hope it doesn't get to that point. But again, some very strange things happening while I've been gone. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I will be posting another video up later tonight. I've got some more footage to show you. Let me know what you think about this stuff happening over Cincinnati. If you saw it, let me know what you guys think. There's some other things happening over Phoenix over the past couple weeks that I will be posting a video up later today. Some very strange things seen by multiple sources over in Phoenix, Arizona. So look out for that. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe on your way out. If you want to contact me with your own footage, all of my contact info and email down in the video description. So thanks again for stopping by. It's good to be back, and we'll see you back soon with much, much more. Stay safe, guys. Thank you.